We're raising the walls on our project house while lowering the chance for bugs, termites, and mold. Hello, I'm Michael Holligan. Let's get started on your new house. Earlier in the season, we decided to do a major remodel on a house in the country. But once we started doing some tear out, we discovered quite a few structural and other problems that required us to keep tearing things out. And as sometimes happens with projects like these, by the time we tore out all the problem areas, there just wasn't much left of this house at all. In the end, all we had left was the remains of the home's slab on grade foundation. Rather than spend the money and time to tear out the concrete, we left it in place and decided to build a new raised floor foundation on top of the existing slab. This allowed us to also expand the footprint of the house and increase the square footage. Kathy Cake, an engineer with the Southern Pine Council, has more than 25 years of experience in the wood products industry. She consulted with us on the raised floor foundation. A raised floor foundation helps get your house up off the ground, and that has a lot of advantages. First of all, it looks better. It helps your house look grander, look bigger. It gives your house, as Frank Lloyd Wright would say, a bottom, a middle, and a top. If you have it just on the bottom on the ground, then it looks like there's something missing. One of the advantages of getting it up off the ground, too, if you happen to be in an area that's in a potential flood zone, you can easily meet plus two or three feet above the base flood elevation, and that can save a homeowner thousands of dollars over their mortgage life in flood insurance. Also, if you have it up, it allows a lot of flexibility. It allows you to do landscaping for your house. It also allows a lot of amenities, such as decks and porches. The first step in creating our raised floor foundation was to build forms for the new concrete footings and stem walls. Then we poured concrete into the forms and let it cure. These parallel cord open web trusses are the key structural elements in our raised floor foundation. These trusses, manufactured by American Truss Systems, are made of southern pine lumber provided by International Paper. Southern pine is one of the strongest species of wood available for new home construction. Now one of the benefits of having a raised floor foundation is just moving the frame of your house up and away from the ground. There's a lot of moisture down in the ground and we want to be as far away from moisture as possible. Plus there's insects down there and we want to be away from those as well. If you live in a place with a lot of termites, you can get your trusses built out of treated lumber, which really reduces the effect of termites coming in and chewing through your frame. Raised floor can be a really good solution if you have poor soils, such as expansive soils that would typically crack a conventional slab on grade. The raised floor system allows you to avoid that. Plumbing, electrical, and other mechanical elements are easy to install in a raised floor foundation. Lines are easily run in the crawl space and up between the trusses. And because we're using open web trusses, plumbing and other systems can be run through the trusses themselves. Plus, if you do have problems later on, it's much easier to repair. You don't have to chisel away the foundation. You have better access to it, and it's much less expensive to repair if you do have a problem. Once all the trusses are set and nailed in place, the crew installs a layer of insulation. The fiberglass bats of insulation are held in place by nylon netting that the crew tacks to the top cord of the trusses. Properly insulating the crawl space is a key step in building a raised floor foundation. The insulation helps keep the floor comfortable and will save the owners money every month on the utility bills. After the insulation is in, it's time to lay down the subfloor. Because the top cords of the trusses are so wide, they provide a great support system for the subfloor. The material we're using for the subfloor is oriented strand board, or OSB. The OSB we're using is from Norboard Industries. The crew puts a bead of glue on the top cord of the trusses, then lays the OSB down over that. The subfloor decking is nailed in place, and later the crew comes back and completes the job by tightly screwing the OSB to the trusses underneath. Gluing, then screwing the subfloor to the trusses helps ensure that this raised floor will stay solid and never have a squeak. The raised floor system also provides a very comfortable walking situation for the homeowner because it provides a lot of cushion. It's a lot easier on your back and your legs to walk on a system that has some cushioning versus something that's very hard. When the screws are all in, the foundation is finished, and it's time to begin framing our country retreat. But that's a story for another day. If you'd like more information on how a raised floor foundation can make your home more comfortable, energy efficient, and trouble-free, visit the Southern Pine Council's website at southernpine.com.